Welcome to Specific Love. In this episode, I want to show you how to turn this basic tumbler into this awesome painted version. And it might be easier than you think. First, start by picking your favorite tumbler. It can be a Yeti version or any of the other brands. I picked up a few cheaper versions at the local Walmart just in case I did not like the finished product. The first step is to remove all of the dirt and oil from the tumbler. If the label left any residue, that needs to be completely removed too. A good soapy bath is recommended. I then thoroughly dried it inside and out. Using some painter's tape, I blocked off a small section at the top and bottom. The bottom was easy because it had a groove, but the top took a little more time and precision. The top section was to keep the paint away from my mouth, and together it looks really nice. With the sections masked off, I needed to prevent water and more importantly paint from getting inside the cup. The best way would be to use a lid, but we did not want to paint it either. So I took the lid and wrapped it in a plastic bag. Almost any thin plastic will work as long as you can fully enclose the lid. Then slide the lid into place with the bag inside. I then started with the color. The tumbler needs a layer of white primer. This will help the rest of the paint to stick easily. So I sprayed several light coats trying to prevent any runs. The Krylon primer and paint that I chose is very fast drying and I would recommend it for this project. While the primer was drying, I filled a 5 gallon bucket with water. It is best to leave the water level near the top of the bucket, but not completely full. I then grabbed a few different colors of paint. After about 10 to 15 minutes, the primer felt dry to the touch. I then started to spray the paint into the top of the water. When doing this, try your best not to create bubbles in the water, or that can transfer over to the tumbler. If some bubbles do form, try to pop them before inserting the container. Make sure to cover the entire surface of the water with paint while alternating the colors as you wish. I slowly lower the cup facing down into the water with a slight angle to prevent any air bubbles from getting trapped by the lid. If you watch closely, you will notice the paint gets pulled towards the tumbler as it is lowered. The paint immediately sticks to the cup, so do not stop the lowering process until the cup is fully submerged. Once it is completely underwater, I have found that it is best to slosh the water around to break the surface tension before removing. This will help prevent extra paint from attaching. I then took the tumbler to my air hose and gently blew off as much water as possible. If you do not have an air hose, then you can try blowing it off with your mouth. After a few minutes, I also blotted the container with a dry paper towel to remove the rest of the water. Some of the water may be trapped in bubble form, so try to gently pop them and absorb the water. I gave my creation about an hour to dry before I removed the tape, and I was truly impressed with the results. During the painting process, I forgot to wear gloves and my fingers got painted too. So if you intend to do this project, I would strongly suggest wearing gloves. I then decided to try a second larger version with some different colors. I was not as impressed with the initial results, so I quickly decided to give it a second dip. I refilled the bucket and added another layer of paint, but this time I tried something a little different. In the lowering process, I gave it a slow twist, and as I pulled it from the water, the results were better than expected. At this point, I was feeling a little overconfident and I grabbed a huge 40 ounce version. I did the process a little too quickly and the ending result was a blotchy paint job. After it had dried, I tried to remove the paint with some paint thinner, but it was a hard process and the ending result left smudge marks all over the tumbler. So take your time and do it right the first time. If you are a little nervous about painting your tumbler, you could always add a layer of Plasti Dip first. I sprayed this tumbler with a light coat and it gave it a few minutes to dry. I then added some random paint marks and also let it dry. If you're not happy with the results, you can simply just peel the paint right off the surface. After the first two tumblers had dried, I wanted to add a protection layer over the paint to keep it from getting damaged during daily use. So I taped off the top and bottom sections, but I left a small 1-2mm gap between the paint and the tape. This will ensure the protective layer fully covers the paint. I thought about adding a layer of clear paint, but I wanted something a little more rugged. So I purchased a two-part resin at a local craft store. I mixed a small amount in one of the provided cups and then lightly brushed a very thin layer over the top of the paint. The resin made the paint shine and each of the colors looked even better. If you like this project, make sure to click the like button and tell us what you think about it in the comments. And as always, have fun building. 